Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Riom and today I'm going to teach you how to master your flavor in your own backyard using the master built gravity feed smoker and today we're going to be making some grilled pizza. I know this time of year personally I don't like firing up my oven and I never really get pizza to turn out as well as I would like in my indoor oven so I really like grilling pizza outside. And instead of using a pizza stone, we're actually gonna do it directly on the grate surface. So when we're shaping the dough balls, um, don't be shy, you know, we wanna, we wanna get that flour in there because we don't want this dough to stick to the board and we don't want it to stick to the peel. Before we actually put the pizza in there, I just wanna oil the grates. Okay, so now that we oil the grate, I'm gonna take this pizza crust and I'm gonna put it right in the middle of that bottom shelf. Um, and I think within about two minutes or so, um, we're gonna take a peek. Once this crust is marked up nice and cooked on the bottom, what we need to do is we need to flip it over because we're actually gonna put those toppings on the side that has the grill marks on it. I'm gonna give this a check. You can see it's puffing up. You can go ahead and knock those bubbles down if you want. So this is gonna be our sauce for both of our pizza. Easy, olive oil, salt, pepper, and just some good quality tomatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and scatter some sauce on here. And I think the first pizza we're gonna do is the bee sting pizza. Um, bee sting because we're using Mike's Hot Honey, uh, which you can get at Walmart. I'm gonna go ahead and put my cheese on first. Soprasada, I am definitely not shy with the soprasada. So I think that looks pretty. So I'm gonna put the pizza on my pizza peel and we're gonna start it on the bottom. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drizzle some of this hot honey. And then I'm gonna come over here to my massive basil tree. So there we have it. That is our bee sting pizza. So now it's time to make our second pizza. We have our dough. And slide it right on the surface. Close it down and let that cook for a minute or two. At this point, we can grab our sauce that we made. Put as little or as much as you want on there. And now we're gonna put the fresh mozzarella on. And now we're gonna get the prosciutto. I think that looks pretty good. We're gonna pop this pizza back in on the bottom rack. And we're gonna let that cook for a minute or two. And I think if we check this, yep. So we have some nice grill marks on our crust. I'm going to move that to the top rack. And I'm gonna give that a minute or two until that crust, or excuse me, until the mozzarella on the top melts um, and that prosciutto starts to cook just a slight amount. We're gonna dress our arugula that's gonna go on top of there. A couple big handfuls of arugula. We're gonna take our olive oil, a few cracks of fresh ground pepper, and a little bit of salt. And that's it. That's all we're doing just to Use that to top our prosciutto and arugula pizza. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna go right on our rack. I have the prosciutto arugula, which we have our arugula that we dressed right here. I'm just gonna take a nice healthy chunk of it, put it right on top like there. and give it a try. <laughs> it is so good. You get that little bit of heat from the hot honey. It's nothing too overwhelming. Um, the freshness of that basil, really, there's nothing like it. And the prosciutto arugula, to me, it's like the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm.